So this will be a continuation of the previous uh, Daz on Linux video I made. Uh, the reason being is that video, it, everything gets up and running, iRay works, but it is using the CPU in that case, and I want to talk about getting the GPU to work, uh, NVIDIA in this case. So this is not actually news. Uh, this repository here has been mentioned in that forum that I linked in the last video, a long running thread on getting Daz to work in Linux. But there was an update just a few days before I made that video actually, and it seems to work. Uh, one thing to keep in mind about this is uh, there is the possibility that Daz Studio gets an update or the NVIDIA drivers get an update that may cause this not to work. Um, it seems this person doing God's work here is keeping up with it, uh, but it's just something to be aware of. So I have Daz Studio installed as per the previous video on that, and we're gonna install these uh, libraries essentially to the wine prefix or the wine environment uh, that's installed via Lutris here. So to see where that is, just in case you're not sure, uh, you can just go to configure and on the game info tab down here, directory, this is the directory you're going to be looking for for the wine prefix. It's just where the C drive and everything is installed there. So first we're going to take a look at what it looks like without uh, those libraries installed. Okay, so the difference here is going to be in render and render settings. You'll see I have the tab here, but this will bring it to you either way. The TLDR is uh, this will not work. I think that's Lutris trying to see my video card, but it doesn't quite succeed. Um, I tried it in bottles and that didn't appear there at all. So without the libraries added from that repository, this is all you'll see. And you should probably see CPU defaulting to check. Since I've done this before, I think it's unchecked because it's remembering when the GPU was installed. Even if the GPU is detected, at least in my experience, it wasn't automatically selected. So you want to check this render settings advanced tab regardless. So now we're going to install it. So here I'll link this obviously. Um, you're going to come to this uh, web page here and then under releases you can just grab the latest release. There's a tarball here. You just download that and extract it. And this is what you'll get. You'll get these files here. And then I'm going to open a terminal in this folder here. You do want to make sure you're in the folder of the extracted files. So here we go, get that out of there. Uh, so the instructions to install it are very easy. Um, there is some other stuff in here uh, that's already installed by Lutris, so you don't have to worry about like this or anything like that. Uh, but right here under wine prefix, this is all you really need to know if you've installed it the same way. So as usual, you'll see it pop up for me since I've done it before. I just uninstalled to show this, so we're gonna change that to install. All you're really doing is pointing to that wine prefix folder here, and then within this folder pointing uh, to the uh, script that it's providing. That's all there is to that. So now if we start it up again, we should see the graphics card. And there we go. And once again, it's already checked because I think this was already saved in Daz's settings. It won't obviously be checked if it just detected it. Uh, but what I do is I check only the graphics card in both of these cases. And down here, I remove the allow CPU fallback, which as it says here, it requires a restart to take effect. That way, if it's working, you're sure it's using the graphics card. So while we're in here, a uh, quick little tip. If you're using a graphics card that is not detected or supported by Daz, or for whatever reason you cannot use a graphics card, it'll use the CPU, which is fine, uh, but it tends to eat the entire CPU. And in my experience, so I have 12 cores total, by the way, I cut it down to 10 to limit it to 10 cores. Uh, that way it will not take up your entire CPU and you know bog things down if you're trying to do much of anything else. Because uh, something I noticed is when I was using iRay, if it was using the CPU, it would eat the entire CPU even if it was done rendering, which is not ideal, but at least you can manipulate that somewhat here. The other side of that is if you were actually trying to do a render in DAS, you'd probably want to pump that up while you were rendering so it makes the maximum use of your resources. So let's just add a figure in here to confirm iRay is working and using the GPU. I'm going to switch this over to something that you can't see anything. Let's see, a wire bounding box because YouTube has turned into what network television used to be. And I will not have this immoral behavior in it any longer. So now that that's there, let's just load a figure. And now let's switch to iRay. And there we go. And once again, the uh, CPU is, not, is disallowed here. And you can see this is pretty quick. 
So another thing that's worth mentioning here is I'm using X11 and instead of Wayland. Uh, so currently I'm using Garuda Dragonized and that lets you log in, at least for now, to either X11 or Wayland. I use X11 because Wayland, this viewport doesn't work correctly. And this is the main thing, like when you hover over and it allows you to select stuff, this yellow highlighting, that doesn't work. It's just, it, does, it doesn't do anything, which is a problem if you're running Daz Studio. So given the choice, uh, I, would I would say avoid Wayland for now. So another thing is a couple of quick tips that I didn't uh, get in my last video. So if you go to Window, Workspace, and then Customize, uh, you'll notice in the first video I mentioned the mouse wheel was inverted. It actually has a feature here to do that. So uh, you can basically make it go back to the way it normally would be by checking this invert mouse wheel down at the bottom here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you also notice the resizing issue that I mentioned in the last video is not happening here. I switched uh, again to using a Garuda Dragon Eyes, which is it's arch based, but uh, it's using a KDE desktop. I have a feeling that might have something to do with it. I don't know for sure, but that's what I'm doing differently there. So lastly, on the subject of folders, uh, something I recommend doing is using Simlinks. So what I have here is uh, on my Linux drive, like the Linux My Documents folder, essentially. I have this DAS folder, and it has my library content in here. Those are the actual directories. Now, if I go into the uh, Wine prefix where DAS is installed, go into Drive C, and find where the DAS program is looking for it, you'll see here I have Simlinks here. So all these are doing are linking to the folders um, in my Linux documents folder. A couple of reasons for doing that. One is if you're messing with different wine environments, like say you're doing like I was, you're trying bottles and Lutris to see what works the best. Uh, you uh, can keep the content in one spot on your hard drive or your SSD rather, hopefully, and then just link it. The advantage uh, Simlinks have in Linux is the program's not gonna know the difference uh, between the Simlink and the actual folder. So it'll just put the stuff in here and read it from there as well. So in order to do that, uh, at least on this distribution, I just go to right click create new and link to file or directory. Uh, some distributions may differ. So in here you would just put what you want the uh, program to think it is basically. Uh, and then here you would put the actual path, like for in my case up here, it would just go down here and then it'll create that link. Besides just organization across environments, the other good reason to do this is because when you're installing uh, you know, stuff in a container, like in a wine environment or whatever, you might come back to this later and be like, I'd like to clean this up. I'd like to reinstall. Let me, you know, delete this one. Uh, that will delete your content too, because it's deleting everything in the drive C if you actually stored your content here. So that's another thing is like you can reinstall uh, and not have to worry about accidentally deleting your actual content, because that would be kind of a bummer. 